Where have I been? I have no idea. I've been away from the studio for a while, and I'm still cleaning this up. I haven't had time to get down here, but I wanted to talk about one really cool new set that I'm excited about, and we're going to check that out right now with some slideshow pictures of it. That's all I got, but let's check this out. Here we have all of the figures. There's Big Bird, and there is The Count, and there's Gordon and Susan and Bob, as I mentioned. There's Bert, and there's Ernie. We have Oscar the Grouch, and there was more to be continued. This thing is advancing on me. And here is the building, and you can see that the building does open up as well. There is some people on the top. It's very detailed. Here we have Elmo. I love Elmo. And Gabby's guitar from episode 3442, Maria's Vigid Gandhi mask. I don't remember that episode. Here's Ernie and his classic rubber duck, his banana, and the portrait of them which hangs in their bedroom. You can see that they have the bedroom up there with the two beds and then the duck in the bathtub. Here is the count on top of the roof with his bats. He's very batty. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, I wonder how many bats they're going to put in this thing. There was bats and lots of these. His name is actually Count Fun Count. And here is the Twiddlebug's house. That is in front of the window there and some may not be familiar with that. But these little teeny guys that came out um, in front of the window there. I can see around the corner. It looks like Sully. Here we go back to the list. And we have Cookie Monster, Oscar the Grouch. We have Elmo. We have Oscar. And we have Bert, Biff, and Sully. There in the basement is Ernie's drum set. And that was always funny. They don't show a lot of the basement from what I can remember. But the creator of this has put a lot of detail in this set. Here we have Sully and Biff. And they were the construction workers, obviously. And then a little scene here where the tires swing, uh, community bulletin board. They got their toolbox there. Here is the front where Bert is feeding the pigeons. And again, these are seagulls. But I'm hoping they put pigeons in, actually make a gray and black or just gray um, bird instead of these seagulls. And here's another view. I see Super Grover. One of my favorite is Super Grover. In the bottom right, I see the cookie monster. Oh, cookies. I love cookies. And Elmo. And here we have another shot from the front stoop. This is the Sesame Street set that was approved on Lego Ideas. I was really excited about this set. And any of you growing up watching Sesame Street must love this. This is really cool. It's created that iconic Sesame Street building as well as many of the figures um, are here as well. We have tons of figures actually. And right here we're looking at the front of the building. We have Gordon and Susan and Bob and of course Bert, Big Bird and the Pigeons. Now, they're calling those pigeons because there are no pigeon figures in LEGO right now. However, maybe LEGO is planning on making them. Since they did approve this set, it got its 10,000 reviews, it passed the review set. I'm hoping they make an actual LEGO pigeon, as well as a LEGO Big Bird minifigure. I'm figuring, obviously, that the person that designed this didn't have access to creating the real figures, so they created what they could. And so far, it's looking really cool. I'm going to look at the next... Stoop. And we have Susan and Bob and Gordon sitting there. The bike, Big Bird is hanging out there. Little detail with a tree and a mailbox. Here is the back of the building. And on the back, you can see Super Grover there. There is a yellow bird. I wonder if they're going to put Snuffle up against in here. And then just the staircases leading to the different apartments and to the roof. Um, again, here is the front. The 123 Sesame Street building facade, circa 1970s and 1980s. But yes, I wonder if Snuffleupagus would be in there as well. Um, we're going to stop this part right now. And we can see here we have Prairie Dawn, Cookie Monster, Bert's Bottle Cap Collection, Cookies, Bert's Cowboy Hat. Here is Oscar the Grouch and Slimy. Look at Slimy. Slimy is just a bunch of one-by-one one round studs. And you can see him on the top of the crate over there on the left. Very cool. Here is Grover and Super Grover when he puts on his cape and his mask. Um, Radar, the little bunny, Julia's painting, Mr. Hooper. Everybody remember Mr. Hooper? Uh, sad. And back to the beginning. This was great. I'm really excited about this set. There's so many things that I'm hoping LEGO incorporates all of the stuff that the creator of this LEGO idea set has put in here. So many little details and so much fun memories looking back at the set and just you know reliving Sesame Street and getting to play it and having LEGO forms of Sesame Street is just awesome. I was going to do some of my voice impressions. Maybe I can do a few. I'm thinking... Grover! I am old Grover! And then we have Cookie Monster. Oh, cookies! 
Cookie, cookie, cookie starts with C. And my favorite is Elmo. Elmo is one of the best characters. Oh, that sounded terrible. Thanks, Ernie. I love Ernie. Rubber Ducky, you're the one. You make bath time lots of fun. Rubber Ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Boop, 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 we do. I think I probably scared you all away now, but those are my quick Sesame Street impressions. I think they need a little work, but thanks for watching, and don't forget to check me out on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram at Built From Bricks, and I'll have more shows, I promise. I have to clean the studio up. I am looking for some people to help out. Maybe they're going to help out with the video editing, so it doesn't look so bad, but thanks for watching. What have you built today?